and on this is Hudson Vintage. Today I pull some of my favorite pieces in the modernist style and they span all different eras, all different decades. So it's a really good example to show you what to look for and what defines modernist jewelry or modernism all the way as far back as the 1940s to the 1980s. But it is definitely something that you can look for and recognize and it's beautiful and valuable and collectible and will always be able to wear it and i believe that the more i collect jewelry the more refined my taste gets the more and more i gravitate towards the modernist pieces so i pulled about 10 pieces to show you this is the first one this is circa 1970 this is done in the lanvin style and it has that big um, tuba gas or um, gas pipe kind of chain that they used. This was made by Trafari and it's a really good example of modernism from that period. It's gold plated and lucite and I'll show you the length of the chain. The length of the chain is so good. And if you Google Lan Ven, you really should, if you're a reseller especially, because you need to know what that is so that you'll be able to recognize it because it's always made out of lucite. Um, but isn't that great? And that is circa 1970 in the modernist style. And then moving right on to the 1980s, this is the 1980s, these are kinetic. This is sterling with gold and these spin. And I got these in the boutique that I worked in in the 1980s. These are really cool kind of kinetic. These were influenced, I guess, by the Memphis era. Aren't these great? And these are everlasting in style. They're really sculptural and they are signed and I believe they're dated in the back. Look how, look at the size of them. They're just great. And these will be going in the shop. So if they're still around when the giveaway happens, you might be able to get these. I'm doing a big giveaway and I did another video explaining that and I'll put the link to it right up here. It's only about a minute and a half. So watch that at the end of this video if you wanna find out about the big giveaway. Then we have this. Now this is circa 1950. This is jade and copper. This is Mexico. This is a really fine example. Um, of the modernist style, which was actually really heavily influenced by the Mayans and the Mexicans. It just fits right in and you can see the length of the chain. Isn't that fabulous? I could just see this with the caftan dresses or with summer dresses, those floral summer dresses. This is actually two pieces. This is um, an artist, this is a gallery piece. Look at the sculptural quality of this. This is, well, I'll show you this one first. This is Mark 925. This is a really heavy sterling piece. I think it was made by an artist named Tan or Tane, T-A-N-E. I haven't been able to find a signature on it, but I'm gonna keep looking. And the thing that I love about this is it can be worn this way or this way on the neck. And you can always add things to this or that side as well. So it's really, really wearable, extremely modern. It's that sharp kind of um, squared off tube extremely well done, very finely made. And then this is a gallery piece and I have the earrings to this. Look at that. Isn't that remarkable? And it's extremely wearable and these are all different uh, carved rhodochrosites that are bezel and prong set made especially to fit these carved stones. And then the earrings are asymmetrical. These are the earrings. How fun is that? And these will be on the website as well. Or they might make it into the second Sunday auction. I'm not sure. This is one of my favorite pieces of all time. I know you've seen it in other videos if you've been watching for a while. Look how great. Isn't that spectacular? And this is the height of 1960s beatnik modernism. It's one of the best pieces I have. This is another one of my favorites. This is 1940s gold plated. I originally thought this was Scaparelli, but I've never been able to uh, confidently attribute it. It's faux bois. It's extremely marvelous. Look, there's the bracelet. There's the necklace. 
just so well done, lovely gold plating, extremely fine quality. It's fabulous and it is definitely uh, what you would call modernist because of the wood grain. <laughs> I just love this and so wearable today, so cool. Now we're jumping back to the 1970s. Look at this. Isn't this spectacular? Look at that. And you can see how this would be wearable you know, for the next 20 years um, by anyone. You know, you can wear this when you're 80 and you can wear this when you're 22 and it'll look just as good. Now we're back up to the 1980s. There are a lot of iterations of this earring. This is that painted metal, but I just love the simplicity of these, the geometric quality. These definitely count as modernist. These were made in all different kinds of motifs. Some of them got very tribal. Some of them got very kind of hippie or new age looking. But to me, these just look like the height of modernism. And then we have these. These are studio made. These are sterling and black walnut. These are real, honest to goodness, high end modernist earrings. Um, the geometric quality of them, the way that the wood is attached with the silver nails. Look, look at that. You could wear that to any gallery opening and the gallerist is definitely gonna come to you first. You're not gonna have to wait in line when you wear these earrings. And then finally, this is also, even though this is plastic, this is also highly collectible and coveted and rare. This is a Trifari. This is that pop art modernist movement, 1960s, and it's layered lucite and it's fantastic. It almost forms a peacock feather, but then when you see the earrings, the earrings are um, space age. So it does cross over into space age, which was also modernist, and you can see there that kind of three-dimensional. And these, again, will be always wearable, always collectible, always um, valuable. So thank you so much for watching. Watch this video right here to find out about the big giveaway. It's only about a minute and a half and it's really fun and it's a challenge for you. Thank you again. See you next time.